the half turn and then the full twist in the straight position and it really is a beautiful vault. Spots the landing absolutely. Now from the side let's see what sort of flight she gets off the top of the horse. Excellent. Just waiting for that score to come up. The women of course have two vaults and it's the best one in this competition that counts. There it is, 9.975. That means four of the six judges gave it. And Fundy from Chile. Superb asymmetric bars worker. She scored 10 in the first time she completed her voluntaries in the team section. Can she repeat that? Beautiful high somersault there. She is a beautiful bars worker. The Chinese girls just lacking in power, which restricts their floor and their vault, but that really is wonderful work. They're the Jaeger somersault. And swings straight on, and the change onto the low bar. Beautiful work from Fan Di. Retained her form right to the end. Really good finish, beautiful landing there. And an air of expectancy amongst the crowd. They know she's 10 and that really was a beautiful exercise. Can she score another one? Oh, and the hissing and the booing, the judges being tough at the time, 9.9. .9. Aurelia Dobre from Romania, leader. And really the sensation of these world championships. 15 years old, has burst upon the women's gymnastics scene. The most exciting talent since Nadia Comaneci. She really does have such assurance on the beam. It's hard to believe that that's just four inches wide. She treats it as if it's a main road. Flick, flack, back somersault, then a little hesitation and on into the Corbett flick. Got such difficult moves into this beam routine. Really put them in, uses absolutely every moment. That's what the judges are looking for. It's very easy to waste time on a beam. She does the opposite. Gets as much in as she can and look at that finish. Another exquisite beam exercise from Aurelia Dobre. There's that incredible first tumble around the free cartwheel, flick and then back somersault. And then the dismount. Look at the height. 9.925. Oksana Emilienchik, the star of the last World Championships, but really overtaken this time. She's the defending joint world champion with Shushinova, and she's also the reigning world floor champion Triple twist, punch, front, somersault, beautiful move.
bit low there on that double pike to finish with. Well, it was Oksana Miljancic who really took the floor exercise into a new dimension in Montreal when she started tumbling back across the floor. 9.95 she scores. A little lucky, I think, with that low landing. Daniela Silivash onto the asymmetric bars. Oh, and a mistake there. Went for the Delchev somersault and just caught her foot. turn to finish with there she turns for the Delchev somersault and see how she catches that left leg she's been having trouble with that really? practice as well now that mistake could cost her a chance of the gold medal they must mark that down I would have thought by three tenths Nine point six two five four. Elena Shushunova from the Soviet Union, the joint defending champion, but she's really going to have to go some to hang on to that championship. The Romanians, absolutely superb, really? the first phase of the competition, the team competition, and of course those marks carry through into this competition. So she's behind Aurelia Dobre. a little offline there with that variation she does on the Corbett flick puts a full twist into it a very difficult move unique to her Good extension there, but even though she's obviously a superb beam worker, she hasn't for me got quite the elan and the poise of Aurelia Dobre, who really has shown the beam as being a piece of apparatus that can be so graceful. Spots the landing. She's a tough gymnast and a score 9.925. Svetlana Vaitova. Newcomer into the USSR team. This her uh, first major championship. Full in back out starter. Lovely floor exercise from Baitova. Really a sparkling new talent. Whip somersault, flick, flick, and the double tuck to finish with. 9.975.
And the Katarina Zabo, Katie Zabo, such a with the crowd. And it's quite amazing that she's still going so much uh, the veteran of the racing team, but she's slimmed down, she looks in great shape. And she's really been a very steadying influence on the young girls in the team. And can she get amongst the medals in her own right? Yachenko Tuck. All her experience showing there lands it well, knows exactly where she is at every moment of that vault. The score 9.925. The leader of the competition, Aurelia Dobre, just waiting for the previous score to come up. She goes into her floor exercise. Now, has she got the nerve to see this competition through and take the gold? She's certainly got the talent. Beautiful first tumbling run. Whip back somersault in the middle and yet still got the pace and power to do the full in back out at the end. Landing again. And that lovely smile. She's really enjoying herself. And really no hint of a mistake again. And some lovely work. middle tumbling run in particular. Absolutely exquisite. That's the first tumble run. The whip back. And then the full in back out to finish with. And here's the final tumble again. This is always the test. She's tired at this stage. And look at the lift. And lands it absolutely beautifully. Oh, and the booze again. 9.925 she scores. The crowd thought it was worth more. Elena Shushanova, asymmetric bars. The Ginga somersault. Another superb exercise from her. Really? So athletic, but she just hasn't quite got the grace of the remaining. No. Dusting double back to finish with. And 9.875 her score. So there we are at halfway. Hey. Dobre still holding on to that lead over Elena Shushinova with Daniela Silovash in third place. 
Dorte Tumler from East Germany. Straight Yuchenko. Most of the girls going for the Yurchenko vaults now with that round off before they get to the springboard. Shushin over on floor. <laughs> Tremendous height on that first tumble rank. Right? Some one and three quarter into the forward row. Goodness, she's responding to the challenge. That really was something else. Certainly the best tumbler in the West. The one and three quarters at somersault and then works straight out of it. Flick flack. And that lovely split leap. Really spring high. That was as good as I've ever seen her perform on the floor. And the crowd expects 